Hey there everybody, how you doing? I am Francis and welcome back to Final Fantasy 7. Last episode we made short work of that red submarine minigame that I despise. I'm still amazed that I pulled that off as fast as I did. And I know Cloud said to forget about the huge material, but you guys know what? I can't exactly do that. So we're gonna go back in here and we're gonna get it now because if I leave it behind, I know I'll forget about it. And yeah, see that guy there? That guy's an asshole, you don't want to fight him. Try to stay away from him. So basically when I'm exploring underwater, I stay to the wall. That's how I navigate this place. And I want to find a submarine that I shot down. And there's also something else I want to do, which is why I'm paying close uh, attention to, uh, to my mini-map. There's also something else I can find down here. I have no use for it now, but if I find it now, I w it won't be something I have to worry about later, so that'll be nice. I don't really enjoy this uh, underwater music, though. Well, here's one of the things that we could find. We have no use for it now, but we'll take it now while we're here, you know? It seems like a key to somewhere. It seems really old. And now it says completed. Exact date of origin cannot be determined. Estimated to be several thousand years old. Several thousand years? Ancients? Alright, we got the key to the ancients. Like I said, I can't do anything with that right now. It'll be useful later. And sometimes I'm scared going into these caves with, because uh, sometimes uh, Emerald Weapon, the monster I was telling you guys about, likes to guard the entrances to these uh, to these caves, so you cannot come in or out uh, without going through him. He can be an asshole that way. Well, here's another uh, passageway where we can actually do something here. This is another one of the things uh, I was looking for. So we go to the end of this tunnel way. It is a long tunnel way. And when we're out here, we can actually surface. So let's uh, do that. Hup! And there's actually a place uh, behind that waterfall. But we do need to have uh, Vincent with us. I didn't mean to die, by the way. I want to get off my ship. I pushed the wrong button. I I I know I could get off here because I know there's a thing with uh, here. Oh, I push X when I'm near. Okay, I push X when I'm close to the thing. X is also my die button, so there's that. But yeah, for this we need uh, Vincent in our team, and we go into the waterfall. Vincent. And we get more about Vincent's story. That voice. It can't be. It is. Lucretia. Vincent. Lucretia, stay back! Ah. Oh. More flash from the past. You know, I noticed that Nibelheim is very important to the story. In more ways than this Cloud's backstory. And by the way, that was uh, Vincent before he became all, uh, you know, vampire-y. We know he was a former Turk. If she is happy then, I don't mind. Is she though? Tell us how you really feel. I'm against it. Why experiment on humans? She and I are both scientists. After that, a child was born to Lucretia. That child's name is... Sephiroth. Duh. 
And yada, it's an over-experiment to kill her. And that's the sin that uh, Vincent is talking about that he must atone for. Damn! Just shot Vincent! Yeah, that's why Vincent's the way he is now. Uh, he was experimented on uh, after he got shot. Like, he really should be dead. And that's why his nerve break allows him to turn into monsters. This body is the punishment. I was unable to stop Professor Gas and Hojo in the Kresha. I was unable to stop them. All that I was able to do is watch. That is my punishment. Wow! Lucretia, you're alive? I wanted to disappear. I couldn't be with anyone. I wanted to die, but the Genova inside me wouldn't let me die. Lately, I dreamed a lot of Sephiroth. My dear, dear child. Ah, if only she knew the truth about her son, huh? After since he was born. I never got to hold him. Even once. Not even once. You can't call me his mother. That is my sin. Back! Stay back, I said! Vincent, won't you please tell me? What? If Sephiroth is still alive? Yeah, he kinda is! My fault, but yeah, he's alive. I heard that he died five years ago. But I see him in my dreams so often. And I know that physically, like myself, he can't die so easily. Please, Vincent, you must tell me. Oh. Lucretia, Sephiroth is dead. Well, he's not, but he's going to be, so I guess in a way. Not lying, right? As long as we fulfill our mission, you know? Alright, and that's that. We'll have to be now to come back here later. And let's get Vincent on my team now, because I don't plan on using him. But, yeah, we'll have to come back here later. And what we just did there will make some sense. So when we get to this three, we'll have to come back here. So keep that memorized. And hopefully Arrow Weapon won't be blocking the way up. He does like to do that. Like I said, he's an ass. If he is blocking the way, we'll have to turn back, go to the surface, and then dive again. Because that's the only way to relocate him. He does like to block off caves. I hate him with my entire being, and he's not here. Okay, great. Alright, now all I gotta do is find that red submarine. I mean, I know there's like a crashed ship down here, but... I'm not strong enough for that area yet. Everything there will make mince me owe me. So, I'll leave it behind. But I do want to find a red submarine. That is my primary objective. That is the reason why I came here in the first place. It's big and red. It should stick out, right? Well, there's you. Like I said, I'll take care of the that later. But we found it. And our weapon sometimes goes that ship too, so leaving that can be scary. Up oh, there he is. And that crater, I believe, he left when he, you know, fell here when weapon got released from a. Uh, the northern cave. Oh, I found a red ship. Well, let's go to it and then get the hell out of here. Hello. So this is the leader sub. Damn, it makes me sick just thinking about it. And we got the huge recover huge material. No damage appears to have been sustained. Good, we didn't destroy the we didn't destroy the huge material. That's good. All right, I'm done down here. I'm not gonna risk it anymore. Let's just get the hell out of here. All right, make our way back to Junon, which is up this way. 
This is the maximum speed it can travel at. And now I believe we have to go back to uh, Rocket Town, if I remember correctly. So that's gonna be a fun time. So let's get going. Rocket Town. Down this way. There it is. Land. And we're gonna save again. And this is one of the places where you have to take Sid with you, so if you weren't using Sid, uh, yeah, he's gonna have to go with you here. Although you don't do much battling in this area, so it won't be the worst thing ever. Rocket Town, and everyone's staring up at the rocket. What's young President Rufus doing by getting all those mechanics together? The shim was serious about launching that piece of crap rocket, but why now? Well, remember that uh, their plan was to use uh, the huge material to destroy Meteor. Of course, they were going to launch it using a rocket. There's a bunch of Shimmer people here messing with the rocket! Is my rocket alright? Well, let's go, let's go say hello, shall we? Yep, that's a lot of Shimmer people. Hi. Is something about to happen? Oh, I'm getting excited. Hmm, spectacle. Indeed. Those terrorists are here! I'm glad to see that you remember me. Alright, well, time for some serious battling. And they're throwing a grenade. And well, you missed Yuki. Good job. Yeah. Yeah, he counterattacks with some smog. I got a ribbon on me, that's not gonna do anything. Alright, you're gone. And you're about to die too. Sorry, but that's just the way it's gonna be. Yeah, Sid has, has a ribbon too, you're not gonna do anything to him. Or you might. Or you can keep missing. Yuki is very dodgy today. Very slippery, very hard to hit. Alright, that's fine. We're coming up. That's a lot of them. Don't let them get any further. Everyone, attack! Well, that's not everyone attacking. If you all attack me 5 on 1, I'm pretty sure you could survive this. Doing it this way, it's not gonna work out for ya. I'm sorry, it's just not. Especially when you keep trying to blind him when you know he's got a uh, ribbon on. You're not gonna be able to do anything to him. You know, status-wise. Bye-bye. Stabby, stabby. He's got ribbon on too, just letting you know. And we win. Hey, restore leveled up. Good job, Yuffie. Proud of you. Uh, you're not going anywhere. Uh, uh-uh, nowhere. Sure I'm not. Sure I'm not. And you became one of those guys. Now let's take you up. Cut! Good job, Yuffie. Yeah, you just can't hear her. She's very dodgy today. Water wave, oh boy. Alright, you're gone. Really, you're wasting your time. How many times are you going to do that until you get the hint, you know? You can't do shit to me! You feel finish it. Alright, now it's just the captain left. I want, uh, Yuffie to get the final hit. Because I'm trying to get her next limit break, you know? For that, she's got to be responsible for her final hits. Bye-bye! Although, Cloud needs to get final hits too, because he hasn't learned his uh, limit break as well. Hey! All levels up! Good job! God damn it! What the hell do they think they're going to do to my rocket? I'm out of here, Cloud! I'm going to kick some shimmer ass! Right on my rocket! 
Yeah, and at this point here, if uh, you didn't take Sid with you, he would've came up the stairs and basically said the same thing, and he'd be like, I'm going with ya. But he's already in our team, so we don't have to worry about that. And up, oh, It's rude! You again? Yes, me again. We will eliminate everyone who gets in Shimmer's way. Sure you will, buddy. Sure you will. Keep telling yourself that. Are you trying to convince me or convince yourself? Alright, well, we're gonna go summons on you. Oh, then. There we go. And now we just get to sit back and relax as, well, our summons are gonna be doing some fighting for us. And that's always a nice time. Hi, Neil Bahamut. You gonna take them out for me? Of course you are. Because we love you, Neil Bahamut. We love all the forms of Bahamut. Bahamut, as you guys know, is the only summon that appeared in every Final Fantasy game. Even the original. Speaking of Bahamut, here, here he comes! The original! Neil Bahamut's cool and everything, but nothing beats the original. There also is another Bahamut uh, in this, by the way. Which gain that Bahamut is the reason why these uh, huge materials are very important. I think it's the uh, one we're going for now that has uh, ba the next Bahamut in. I could be wrong about that, though. Yep, and here comes Guns Nance, and you know what? We're gonna try it up when the animation's done. Root is taking quite a, quite a beating, though. I think after Odin, he might be like, uh, it's time to peace out. Doing some great damage. Yep, he's done. Ugh. Cool. That was easy. Uh, uh, my summons did all the work for me. I didn't have to do anything. I love that. Uh, they got us. They got me good. Uh. <laughs> you? You? Why are you here? Where the Turks should have been here. Too bad. Those guys are out there. Oh man, the Turks being done in like that. But I won't let you through. Really? If Rue the Turks couldn't stop me, what makes you think you could? You and what army, mate? Yeah, that's what I thought. And Quad's gonna finish you up. Yeah, how'd that go for you, man? Uh, they got me. They got me good. Huh? Hey, what the hell are you guys doing? Hey, just when I thought something was going on, you come back. Listen to me, Captain. We're going to launch this rocket. Eh? What are you talking about? We're going to load a material bomb in this and blow up Meteor. Our rocket's going to save the planet. Uh, man, this is so cool. Wait a minute. Shut up. Just shut the hell up. How's the rocket? It's pretty much okay. But, we plan to run it into a meter on autopilot, but the most important device is broken. Broken? And how's the repair going? Sure is doing it. Oh boy. <laughs> oh, great. What a bunch of wizards you guys are. She's gonna take a hundred years. I'll take over, so don't worry about the autopilot. Um, Sid, you do realize this is gonna blow you up, right? Hey, go ahead. Go tell everyone. All right, Captain. Good luck. See, you realize what you're doing, right? Like, I know space travel has been your dream and everything, but... You're going on a crash course for the Meteor. You do know what's going to happen when this rocket collides with Meteor, right? And you know what's going to happen to you too, right? If the rocket's going to be blowing the bits... What do you think is going to happen to you? The one piloting... You know, the rocket. Hey, Sid, what are you doing? 
There are generations of knowledge and wisdom inside of Materia. We're going to borrow their powers and save the planet from Sephiroth. There's no way that we can lose the huge Materia. You understand that, right? Yeah, I understand. I understand that Materia is precious. And I also understand what you're thinking. But listen! I don't care rat's ass whether it's science or magical power. No, I guess if I had to choose, I'd rather put my money on the power of science. Humans who used to only roam around on the ground are able to fly now. And finally, we're about to go into outer space. Science is a power created and developed by humans. In science, this might be what saves this planet. I was able to earn my living thanks to science. So to me, there's nothing greater. Now quit your worrying about what Shimra's gonna do. I don't want to regret not having done something later. But Sid, shut the hell up, I don't want to hear it. All right, time to get to work. Anyone who ain't involved, get the hell out of here. What the hell? What the hell happened? Hey, hey. Oh, it's Palmer. Palmer, what the hell did you do? They said they finished repairing the autopilot, so I liked it. God damn, Shira. Why'd she pick the day to get fast? Damn. Won't even budge. It's completely locked up. Hey, hey, hey! We almost left off! What the? No countdown? It just don't seem the same without it. Hey, hey, hey! Blast off! Yeah, we don't get a countdown. Sorry. Well, there's a countdown! And off we go. And off we go! The rest of the rocket has finally launched. Rocket Town's gonna feel a little bit strange though, for it's, you know, rocket, right? I finally made it. Outer space. Let's see. How's the course set? Yep, it's heading for a collision with Meteor. Hey, old man, do something! That damn Palmer went out his way to lock the autopilot device. We might not be able to change course. This is the end. Eh? What the hell are you saying? You're still young and you give up that easily? Well, yeah, we're talking about fighting in the meteor. I'm not gonna crash in the meteor, no way. Not gonna happen. Just watch me. I'm watching. I keep an escape pod on a rocket just for emergencies like this. I decipher the lock code to the escape pod. We'll be out right before we crash into Meteor. Hmm. What are we going to do with the huge materia? If you don't want it, maybe you could give it to me. If you want the materia, do whatever you want. The materia should be there after you climb that ladder. You sure? I don't know. I know what I said a minute ago, and that's about it. But maybe all that I really wanted was just to go into outer space. So, why don't you all do whatever you think is right? Okay. So, up here is the huge material. And I believe this is the one we want. And we do have the code we have to decipher to get it. I finally found the huge material. It's structured so that the lock can be open if we enter the passcode from this control panel. There is a control panel. Try and operate it. Alright, so we have a time limit to get this uh, huge material. We have to push uh, the four buttons on a controller in a certain order. Uh, I happen to know this order off by heart, so we'll be just fine. 
And if you don't know it, well, Sig gives you, like, very vague hints. But yeah, let's operate it. Enter passcode. So the code is... Circle? Oh, hello? Hey, Quad, you know how to use it, right? Every time it says enter passcode, push one of those buttons. If you punch in the right code, it'll unlock and you get the huge materia. So what order am I supposed to enter the passcode in? I don't know, just try and punch in the code randomly. Thanks, Sid. Anyways, the combination is circle, square, X, X. Also known as confirm, switch, cancel, cancel. Password confirmed. Identified as an authorized user unlocked. And there we go. We got first try. Awesome. Wow, pretty good. You got the password in a single try. You must have known the passcode. If not, it's impossible. I, I knew it. <laughs> and there we go. We got the haze materia. Now we're out of here before we hit Meteor. And I believe the escape pod's down here. Good thing we have this thing. Oh, hello. That's not good. Oh, you're still here. Ah! Damn, my leg's stuck in the debris. Sid! Me! I can't budge it by myself. Don't worry about me. Hurry up and go. If you don't hurry, the rocket's gonna crash in a meteor. I can't go without my friends. We're not leaving you behind. No time to worry about our people. Just go! I'm gonna do whatever I can. You're stupid. You're really stupid, you know that? Tank number 8 blew up. So, tank number 8 really was malfunctioning. Shira, you are right. You know it pains him to admit that. But this is the end for me. Don't say that, Sid. Eh, Shira! I tagged along, I'm coming to help you. Yeah, stupid toe, you know that? Sorry. Alright, well, we're out of here now. The escape pod is this way, please hurry. Okie dokie! Hurry, I'm going to detach the escape pod. Hey, Shiro, does this pod really fly? It'll be okay, I've been checking it till now. Then I'm relieved. Thank you. And away we go! That's the escape pod. <laughs> Who knew that the logo was the escape pod, right? So this is outer space. Man, it's the real thing. I'm really here in outer space. Yeah, it's a dream come true for Sid. So long, Shimmer number 26. Yeah, it's not a material bomb anymore, but let's see what it does to Meteor. Even with the his material probably wouldn't work. Whoa! Oh, that's blinding. Even Bogenhagen.
Yuri, yeah, look! Well, it did some damage. But it looks like it's just putting itself back together. I'm pretty sure even with the his material that wouldn't have done anything. Yep, Shimra failed. You know. I mean, that was someone with the black material. I don't. I didn't think that its ultimate destructive magic would be taken, you know, taken care of that easily. Rufus and the Earth's plan was a failure. What a bust. I kind of hope they work. We've been bothering them as much as we can. But there ain't no our way. Wonder if we've been wrong all this time. Makes you worry, doesn't it? Don't worry. Think! Hey, the girl's right. You start worrying and there's no stopping it. Things just start falling apart and get worse and worse. You're pretty damn optimistic. You up to something? Yeah, I've been thinking about this and that, you know. All the time we've been up here looking at the planet. I've been thinking even when we were floating in the ocean in the escape pod. Oh, so that's where we landed. In the ocean, okay. I've been thinking too. About the universe. Planet. Ocean. How wide and big, no matter where I go and what I do, it won't change a thing. Maybe you're right. But I came up with something different. Oh. I always thought this planet was so huge. But looking at it from space, I realize it's so small. We're just floating in the dark. Kind of makes you feel powerless, doesn't it? On top of that, it's got Sephiroth festering inside it. Like a sickness. That's why I say this planet's still a kid. A little kid sick and trembling in the middle of this huge universe. Someone's gotta protect it. You follow me? That someone is us. Sid, that's beautiful. Yo, Sid, you even got me. Do now what? How are we gonna protect the planet from meteors? I don't know, do I have to think about everything? I'm still thinking about that. Buzzkill. <laughs> huh? What up? Did you hear something? The planet scream. Or meteor. Is it this planet? Hey, how do we know that this is really the planet scream? Did you forget? Bogenhagen told us. Bogenhagen. Let's go see Grandfather to the Cosmo Canyon. I'm sure he'll be able to tell us something that will be helpful. All right, well, we got a destination in mind. But instead of doing that, I'm actually going to go back to the operation room. And in here, I'm going to talk to you. Thank me for a job well done. I am going to save or heal router first. I'm getting myself backwards. Heal first, and then we'll save. And as far as our adventure to Cosmo Canyon goes, we will take care of that in the next episode. So thank you, everybody, for joining me in Combat to Final Fantasy VII. Hope you guys are enjoying this, and I will see you guys next time. Thank you so much for joining me. Have a nice day. Bye, everybody.